Yo, what up all you gamers out there? The name's Second Heat. I'm bringing you guys another episode of Throwback Thursdays. And this Throwback Thursday is going back to my very first Call of Duty, which was not Modern Warfare 2. Instead, it was Call of Duty 2, the big red one, on the PlayStation 2. Let's go. Throwing frag! have not heard They're the next installment to the Borderlands franchise people who believe that video games is a waste of time all right now you guys are probably wondering how it is that Call of Duty 2 the big red one was my very first Call of Duty when I always talk about how Modern Warfare 2 is my favorite card, how it was my first card I ever played, which is pretty much a lie because in all honesty, I completely forgot about Call of Duty 2. I completely forgot that I've actually played it. I forgot that that was my legit first card. I kept on thinking it was Modern Warfare 2 because not only was it my first card, but it was the Call of Duty that got me into COD. But now that I fully remember you know, my childhood gaming, I do remember playing Call of Duty 2. However, it was not for the PS3, really. It was for the PS2. Um, And in all honesty, it wasn't even my COD. Like, my parents didn't buy me the game. Instead, my stepdad had bought himself Call of Duty 2. But since he was always so busy, I kind of just said, this is mine now. You know, I kind of just claimed it for myself, even though it wasn't really mine. But when I think about Call of, Call of Duty 2, the Big Red 1, I had I actually had a lot of fun playing it. I replayed the campaign so many times because I wasn't really into the first-person shooters that much. I was mainly into, you know, Dragon Ball Z, Need for Speed, and stuff like that. So when I started playing the first-person shooter Call of Duty 2... It was a whole new different feel for me and i actually got kind of hooked on it for a while like even though i all i had was the campaign i played the campaign a good amount of times on different difficulty levels no i never played on like the hardest difficulty level because i'm not and i i wasn't that great of a gamer back then but i still had a good time playing on like the easy the normal and i did still struggle then too because once again i was not as great of a player as I could have been but still nonetheless it was still a very fun experience for me and for those of you guys that do not remember or have never played um Call of Duty 2 what it was was still in still during the World War II days um and I can't fully remember the storyline but all I remember was that you were going you were experiencing like so many different areas there were times where you'd be in your tank i believe there were time actually yeah i do remember the tanks the tank battles were actually pretty amazing when you would actually get ambushed by other tanks and there were actually be times where i would try to race the ai like as a tank race battle i don't know why i just found it so funny and there would be times i would try to like run over all my own civilian or my own allies and stuff but it was all just all in good fun this was back when i didn't play at kind of a serious level this was back when i was geez how long was call of duty 2 man call of duty 2 had to have been like a good eight years or so so i'm 18 now so i was at least you know 10 or 11 years old so at that age you don't really play games competitively you play games more in a fun way and that's something that i really do miss in my childhood i really do miss just playing games just for the fun of it instead of taking it as seriously as i do now even though it's not to like a whole competitive level but it's still there's still some seriousness and that's something we should never really take away from our lives we should never take away fun we should never like there's nothing wrong with adding in seriousness there's nothing wrong with that you know it it tends to make you look better well to an extent 
you know, some people can be douchebags for taking games too seriously. But just not just playing a game because it's a game for playing a game to experience the fun that was made into it and not complain about every little thing in it is something that we have actually strayed away from. Nowadays, a lot of people are just criticizing every little thing in a game when we don't even realize how beautiful the game is by itself. We fail to realize how beautiful a game was developed and how hard or long it took. And that was something that I realized in Call of Duty 2. I realized how beautiful it was. And I never thought about like, oh, the FPS is bad. Oh, the graphics are terrible and stuff. And in th talking about the graphics, it's amazing how much we've evolved f from the graphics from Call of Duty 2 all the way to now Advanced Warfare. So that's been my short little throwback Thursday for you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time, this has been your boy Taking Heat, and I'm out. Peace.